Kimba, what is it again? My husband. My strength. My world. Why are you doing this? Why are you breaking my heart? By showing weakness to something you know is not permanent. Sweet words can be very consoling. But the reality of life is harsh. It is so glaring. It's like a mirror with which we see ourselves. My husband, I know. But I did not get married to you because of what you had. I got married to you because I saw a man who had potentials and able to withstand any storm. My dear, that's why I shed tears. That is why I shed tears. Because misfortune has not only come to visit us, but has taken a permanent seat in our home. God forbid. Speed those abominable words out. Speed them out, Bikobo Poisson. To fear my hello. Hey, God. I will not allow poverty to condemn the good life God has promised us. Amen. That is the spirit. That is the spirit. He came. We are just going through a phase. It is not permanent unless you want to make it permanent. No, I would. I will not. I reject it. Amen. I reject it. Amen. Is it gold? My business must have gone down. But I know I will rise again. Amen. The Bible says, dry bones shall rise again. Ikemba shall rise again. Amen. Take. Go out. Mix up with your friends. Go and have a drink. Poverty shall never know our home again. Amen. Where are you coming from? Hey, hey, hey! I dare you. I dare you to walk away from me. Just dare it! Azo, I beg you in the name of God. I am tired. I do not have the energy for another fight. Hey, hey, hey! I am your husband. And when I ask you a question, you will answer me immediately. Well, if you must know, I went to Azo. I went to Azo for money to feed you. Oh, so finally you have accepted that you sell your body for money. If I do so, am I wrong? Eh? Tell me, if I do so, am I wrong? Do you bring in a dime into this house? Am I not the one who feeds you and take care of everything? So now you're a prostitute. So now you are a bloody prostitute. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, not be grateful, not to sit lazy around and open your mouth to insult me. Adaku, Adaku, I opened the business for you when things were good for me. I opened the business with my money for you. What do you do? All you bothered about is to dress up in fancy clothes and buy jewelries. You do not know that what you should be doing is taking care of me now that things are bad. Take care of you. You're such a lazy man. I've never seen a man as lazy as you are. God, I wonder what I saw in you. Ah! You're very stupid. Please love me. Please love me. Oh, 
friend. Get, get, get out, get out of here. No. I'll just kill you. Keep your stinking hands, sex breathing hands away from me. I'll just kill you. I will kill you. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Huh? Do you want to die? Get your hands off me. My friend, get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. It's okay, my little angel, come here. Mm. I'm sure it's tears of joy. Hmm? See, anytime mommy is crying like this, it means she is extremely happy. Okay? It's nothing to worry about. All right, run along to your room. Let me have a chat with mommy. Careful. Meg, why are you doing this? I am doing nothing. I've told you over and over again. If you want to continue crying because things have gone bad for us, fine. But please, I beg you in the name of God, not in front of our daughter. Richard, I might not have your kind of courage, but the truth remains that things are difficult for us and nothing seems to be improving. But are you not a good Christian? Oh, please, spare me that. My being a good Christian has nothing to do with my husband suddenly becoming a dreamer. Eh? Excuse me. Is that what you now call me? Me, your husband, a dreamer? I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. But you're not doing anything to get a job. You keep claiming that one contract or the other will click. For crying out loud, we have a child. And she cannot survive by your constant braggies. Of course you will talk like this. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. This is how you will talk because you are now the one who's paying all the bills in this house. Don't, 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 don't talk to me. I'm still talking. I don't blame you. But one day, one day I will surprise you. I'll prove to you that I'm not a weakling. I'll prove to you that anything I touch turns to gold. One. Miss Wilhelm. You're looking very fine. But no, how can you say that now? It's not what you see. Oh. Okay, you know, a man laughs just because he cannot cry. You know, hmm. it's simple, you know. Just trying to hold myself. Hmm. You know? My brother, I understand. The Iroko tree is threatening to fall in its prime. But it's not possible. Eh? How can the Iroko tree fall? The Iroko tree cannot fall when it does not pay its dividends in life. No, it's not possible. Mm. Because, yeah, man. Uh, maybe you are not talking about an Iroko tree that is infested 
with termites. You see this Iroko tree? This Iroko tree has the worst termite infestation you can ever think of. It will survive only by the grace of God. Well, that's why we're who we are. A rare breed. We cannot give up despite or irrespective or regardless of the circumstance. We just cannot. I get Yeah. That's why. Is that not Richard? I'm saying. Richard! Nadu, Abba. That was before. Ogibe uh, Kemba was before. Eh? He came back, you see now, sitting down here. Eh? He's trying to regain a new or gain a new identity. Uh, guy, two bottles of beer. See, Ogi Kemba, you don't have to. You're not supposed to be searching for a new identity now. Mm -mm. Uh, he has a very strong point. What you need to do now is to renew, rearrange, repackage. Okay, take him. Repackage a new identity. You would understand. Eh? You would understand. Okay, Kimba, you are a big boy. You are a big boy. You have made money and spent money. Okay? What you need now, see, Oni Kemba, what you need now is to sit back, relax, then you ask, get it run alone in town. Richard, oh, before, before, before he came by, probably or he came by Zagi, oh, before you go. Well, anyhow, one of the same chapter what's going on in town, as you get to know what's happening in town, well, that's what you're quick check with. One, tell me what's going on in town. Let him begin to can kill you. What's going on? Eh, if I'm able to, Richie get ping is again. Rich, ping yeah. I will ping him, but before I ping him, you order drinks. I heard you. You then bring the drinks first. I heard that part. I ask you for to, for the waiter to bring uh, two bottles of beer. Yeah, quite soft drink. You buy buy me a car. Or the car, can never have a bad home. Yeah, it won't only can be so because may have three bottles. I have listened to your stories, it is sad and pathetic, but that is the reality of life. Only the strong survive. <sighs> Wealth is a matter of choice. Do you have the mind to venture where only the strong dare? Chief, I have the mind. Obiag. Obiag. Okay? I have no destiny with poverty. It's all right. Yeah, Chief. It would be a sin against God and man if I remain this poor. Chief, you've heard my friend. We all have the same mindset to make money at all costs. We want to be rich, wealthy. Chief Tinya in Evan Good. Only a few are opportune to discover and know the wisdom of the ancient. Yes, the Greek has Pluto, which means riches, wealth, abundance, be it material or spiritual things. It comes from the God of the underworld, but it has a risk you must take. Chief, even if it is untimely death, it's just that the that the time frame, let it be a little bit longer so that when the money comes, I can enjoy the money before I... Okay. I, I don't care. <laughs> that is called courage. Money and all the good things of life go to only those who are fearless. A life of Zoe. Uh, Chief, I am willing to embrace it at any cost any cost at all. Mm -hmm. 
you shall do it at your own detriment. Because what you seek is what you get. Prepare for a test that will open the doors of the underworld so that the good things you seek in life will come to you. Gentlemen, henceforth, you are among the chosen. Yes! <laughs> and the test begins immediately. You can laugh. <laughs> we are together. Yes. <laughs> I have warned you not to disturb me whenever I am having my prayers. Well, it seems you have lost sense of time. Let me remind you, it is 4.30 a.m. Did you expect me to sleep all through in the parlor? Eh? All in the name of so-called prayers. Please, I want to sleep. Adako. Adaku, you need to be careful. If you want us to have peace in this family, you need to adhere to my instruction. Which instructions? I'm asking you, which useless instructions are you talking about? Eh? You expect me to sleep in the bed while my husband sleeps in the bedroom, all in the name of prayers? I don't blame you. Your problem is confusion. That's what your problem is called. Poverty has confused that you no longer know what you are doing. Poverty, Please, I want to sleep. Poverty Please. has confused me. Yes, yes, poverty, that's your problem. Poverty has confused me. Thank you. Thank you. Poverty has confused me. You were still asleep. No, I've been up since. I just thought I didn't want to disturb anybody. Is everything all right? Yes, everything will be okay. Perfectly okay. Sooner than later, I will give this family 
everything they deserve. Amen and amen, Daddy. <laughs> I trust you. It's all right. Thank you, my dear daughter. Let's go, children. Right. Let's go. Boy. Let's go. All right. All right, then. Uh, bye. 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 Good. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay, mom. Bye. Bye. Um, the money I gave you last month is there anything left of it? I have just 2,000 Naira left, but it's okay, we'll manage, God is on the throne. It's alright, my dear wife, hmm? all this will soon be a thing of the past. I have arrested my destiny, yes I have. There will be a total turnaround for everything in this house, okay, as long as God is on the throne. It's alright, my dear. It's alright. Hmm. So, my sister, aside from the car, you also promised to give me a million naira to improve my business. Oh, are you I'm serious? Telling you. Hey, it? Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How's your husband? Oh, he's very well, thank okay, you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, Adako, uh, is there any food at home? Oh, yeah. There is plenty. Which would you want? Your breakfast? Your lunch? Or do you want your dinner now? There's no need for you to speak to me in that stupid tone. Your mates? That is for those that are responsible. Have all gone out to their businesses. You're just waking up. Tell me, why won't you fail in your venture? Tell me. After you say, don't bother me. I'm doing special prayers. Uh, I'm sorry. Sir, I would like to be on my way. Uh-uh. Yeah. So soon. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Let me see you off. No, don't. <laughs> Look at you. Look at what you do. You just, you just chased away my, 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 my visitor. Eh? Tell me. Look at Kaniko. Her husband just bought her a car. Yes. He's, he's the husband. How many years does the husband have? Tell me. Even the small business you have, you don't even pay attention to it. I am tired. Of, I, I don't even know what I saw in you. Kadako. Calm down. Please. Whatever you saw in me cannot be wrong. Look, I, I promise that things will get better. <laughs> Just be patient. Yes. Promise. Be patient. This, that, that. As weak, I am tired of your promises. I, I, I am fed up. I am fed up. Mind you, the house rent is still not being taken care of. I expect eviction any moment from now. Then we'll end in the street and promise the, the whole world we will build a castle in a month's time. Has Jane gone to school? Yes. My love, are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. My love. Oh. Meg, this is not fair. It's not fair. Stop doing this. Stop, stop being in this mood. It's not fair. I've told you. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. My love. I'm satisfied the way we are. I know that you're not a lazy man. The good Lord will bless us when it's time. Yes, I know that the good Lord will bless us. I also know that soon you, you'll realize that I mean no harm. 
See, I'm just, I'm just hustling to give us the best, to give us a good life. You know, not, not just the life of, of mere existence and ah, it, it just it troubles me. My husband, my love, they are the father of my child. I trust your judgment and I believe in you. Please, my love. Whatever you're doing, just be careful. Be cautious because the quest for fortune could be disastrous, you know. Just be careful. Alright? Please. Okay. I'll be careful. I love you. I love you more.
humba, a humba, a humba monotana. A humba. To our new members who have dared the dark forces of the underworld in order to arrest their destiny. The sacred order of the ancient wisdom welcomes you. Ahumba. It is your wish to be here. A privilege only a few are granted. You have chosen to pursue a cause which is right and justified. The actualization of your dreams lies with your quest to conquer. You shall be abundantly blessed as you desire. Ahumba. The bold steps you have taken to change the course of your destiny end today. And a new world of fulfillment, contentment, riches beyond your wildest imagination begins now. Ahumba. Without sacrifices, there is no end. It is your wish that will be granted. It is your desire that will be fulfilled. Let your conscience guide you, as every man shall be judged according to his virtues. Ahumba. Lord. For Lord.
only brother. No. It's not possible. It can't be possible. He's my brother. Still crying? Are you still crying? It's okay. Please stop crying, all right? It's all right. Good, come. It's all right, come. It's okay. Lucy, come here. Come, come, come. It's okay. Come here. Come. on like this. She is gone. My best friend is gone. I know. I know. I am not crying because um, I can't be a man. It's just that I, I know her family. I know the kind of family she, she comes from. They don't like me. They have never liked me. Now this is an opportunity for them to say all the rubbish they want to say. I can imagine. I understand. But I promise you that you will get past this. Okay? I will be right here with you. I, I will stand by you. The night shall know no peace except a humba is satisfied. The spirit shall not rest except we take what belongs to us. You cannot be asleep while a humba is awake. Your heart belongs to us, while your body belongs to your maker. Thank you. 
My client have been instructed. You ought to comply or you quit. <laughs> You don't know what is happening. This complaint has been bought by another person. And the new owner is demanding 100% increase on the rent. Or we should be we will be thrown out. What? What, what? what rubbish? Just Jesus Christ, is this hard times? With the government banning imported goods, where are we supposed to get that kind of money from? I think they care about that. This is sheer wickedness. Wait, 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 wait. Um, Oga, Oga lawyer. Um, do you have a wife? Yes, I do. Fine. Now, if your wife owned a shop in this complex, what would you advise her to do? Good question. <coughs> First of all, my wife does not own a shop here. But if she had, I would advise her to comply or quit the shop. Hey, this man is so insensitive. What is it with you people? Ah, eh? Madam, you have the right to redress this issue in the court of law. But my advice is for you to comply or we'll throw you out. Hey, come on, you, you know what? You can ca calm down, everybody. Calm down. You know what? There is no point arguing with this man. It doesn't make any sense. Let's look for whoever bought this complex. We will go there or we'll send the right delegation to go to go and meet them. What rubbish! He reached himself. He reached himself. He came boy. He came. Do it now. He came boy. He came. Richie. Richie. What number? He bought. So so. He bought so. Can I have one for? Why the other one? He came boy. One in. He bought. He bought so he bought. I pull full for. Anybody who says we will not leave will die disgracefully. And anybody who wishes us well, we shall enjoy with us abundant. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that this fight has no rule. Hmm? Ogo, ogo. Mm -hmm. A fight is a fight. Of course. Anybody in the Mishi and now we raise them top of the Mishi. 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 What happens when the person presents? Eh, wo, Ike. Hey, man. Eat a day. Eat a day. Eat a day. You use anything available. The most important thing is only baby. Who won? Eh? I have to have a chance to go on my. Welcome home, my brother. Stop it, but I'm. Hey, I'm not going to be able to do that. Hey, I'm not going to be able to do that. Hey, I'm not going to be able to Jesus is love. Hey. Welcome home. Guy, who saved you? What man? I like you, man. What's up, man? This is Guy. Adi, 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 Tell me where you get this yourself. And let me live with you, this ornament. It's a lot of food. Go, go. You look lovely. Mm. And extremely ravishing. Mm. Why are you doing that? Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Funny. Yes, dear. Are you ready for lunch? No, no. Let's wait until I get back. Oh. That would be in the middle of the night. By then, even the dinner must have gotten cold and probably I would be sleeping there. <laughs> Gentlemen, please help me tell her that man <laughs> shall not leave my food alone. <laughs> yes. She's not my help, she's going to take care of this. I believe she knows. The good things of life don't come easy. Your husband works very, very, very hard. I know, and I appreciate him. Alright. 
you should take a rest once in a while. All right, I will. I will. But let's not dwell on it. Okay, gentlemen. Give something to drink, okay? I want to go carry something upstairs. Gentlemen, please, I'll be back. Alright? Two minutes, I'll be back. So, what do I offer you to? Hey, anything. Like? If a city get not been strong. Give me You two are impossible. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Playing this game, Abby. Have you done your homework? Have you finished? Have you finished your homework? Leave me alone, no. Leave me alone. I said, will you want me to finish your homework now? I'll report you tomorrow. Give me that phone. I think you've seen what you've done. I think you've seen what you've done. Will you, you want leave me alone? My friend, go and do your homework now before I report it to mommy. <laughs> and you know what mommy will do to you. I'm sure you know. Ah. Mm -hmm. And I will report to daddy that you now have a boyfriend. Tell me now, Lucy. Tell me now. Which boyfriend now? Come back here, Lucy. Which? Haven't I told you guys never to come anywhere close to this room? Huh? No, you stopped me from playing my game. Well, why did you stop her from playing her game? Daddy, since she got back from school, she's been playing games. She hasn't done her homework. So I told her to go and do her homework. It's a lie. Daddy, let me tell you something. She has a boyfriend in school who she gives she money to. Excuse me. She has a boyfriend in school which she gives money to. You heard me. Oh, is that true? It is a lie. It's just a friend. Like, like, girl. So, I give you money for your upkeep? And you, in turn, lavish it on a boy? Is that what you do? He's not my boyfriend. Shut up. Like Just you. shut up. Now listen up, both of you. I don't want to see any one of you anywhere close to this room ever again. This is my private sanctuary. Am I clear on that? Mm -hmm. Am I clear on that? Yes, yes daddy. They might just get you pregnant and run away, and I wouldn't like that. I'm more comfortable seeing you around with your friends, okay? Okay, Daddy. All right, then. Daddy, okay. tell her to leave my phone to me. Let me have a phone. Daddy, tell her to do her homework. Don't worry, she's going to do it, all right? Yeah. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy loves you. Bye. All right. <laughs>
that you listen to me. Should anybody dare enter that place, I will not take it kindly. I won't. Am I clear on that? Am I clear on that? Y yes. Gentlemen, please. Let's go. Akma. Yes. Okay. You're next after Miss Tina. Madam, your pregnancy is six weeks old today. Are you still willing to evacuate the baby? Yes, doctor. It would destruct my life if I keep this pregnancy. My life, my dreams, my everything. Please, I have to remove it, doctor. Very well, then. I can see you've signed all the necessary documents. Yes, doctor. I've done that. Go over there and uh, undress yourself, please. Thank you, Doctor. I wasn't really expecting you men of honor today. Dog. Good friends don't need to inform each other before visiting, do they? That's right. You're correct. Doctor, you're a very good man. Very good man. And that's why whenever we visit, we come with good tidings. You, as you just took the word off my mouth. Huh? 
a doctor like this, you know, deserves nothing more than uh, or less than good things of life. Uh, it appears business is good. I have acquitted 10 young women of their unwanted pregnancies. Wow. Some in advanced stages and some just a few weeks uh, old. I also have a special deliveries today. Blood of an infant, pure and innocent. I have never doubted you will deliver of your promise. Not for one second have I. <laughs> a friend in need is a friend, friend indeed. indeed. He who says we will leave we we'll live, wine, and dine with us. And anybody who says we will not succeed will no. die disgracefully. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, you've been absolutely nice to me. Therefore, I don't have any reason to disappoint you. You see, what you do with what I supply to you is none of my business. Wise talk. It's a wisdom. Is not bought. You cannot buy wisdom in the open markets. Neither can it be sold there. Anybody who wants to be wealthy, acquire riches, be comfortable and successful in life must first acquire wisdom. Yeah, you're right there, you're right there. You see, but gentlemen, my success is based on sealed leaves. That's a good one. Anyhow, Doctor, let me just quickly let you into this. You see, the fetus of, of young virgin women is in very high demand. But I want to save you the trouble of being misled by these young, smart girls. from here to here. You know? I tell you to leave the supplies to me. I will supply you all the women. Oh. So you can do the aborting. Okay, and take out their fetus. So, <laughs> Philip. Uh, doctor, uh, my area of specialty is actually married women and pregnant women. <laughs> no job. <laughs> doctor, mine is simple. Young, innocent boys. Oh. I catch them. I pet them. You are the lawyer. And then I open them up, I tear them and implant my seed into them. Or oh, choose up. Mm. Part of finder. Bully. Part of Bully. Find Bully. Bully. <laughs> 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 hey! Why are you shouting? Do you want to wake the entire household? searched for you all over the place. Am I lost? I needed to show you something. So, I've been looking for you. I've knocked on all the doors. You didn't come out. So, I thought you went out. Yes, I went out. But I'm back now. So, can you go to sleep? But... But what? What? I, I didn't hear the door open. Gold. Go to bed. And leave me to think of my life. My daughter, do you realize what you are doing? I do not want this child. Because it's going to disrupt the great dream that I have. What great dream is greater than the gift of a child which men is sick, yet they don't have. I do not care. Because my dreams are beyond having a child now. Then why don't you absent yourself from what leads to it? Well, it has happened already. But I have no regrets, so long as I can keep this baby out of the way. What if you cannot be pregnant again? 
Oh, who cares? All I know is that I'm going to get married to a wealthy man. Besides, there is nothing modern science cannot do. You have yourself to blame, you arrogant young woman. Asking me for favors when you know I can, I can, I can even give you one of my cars. Fabulous. Uncle, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It's okay. That's just 200 grand. You're acting as if I gave you a million bucks. Uncle, thank you very much. Uncle, I, I honestly. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Go ahead, take it. It's all yours. Spend it. When you're done with it, come back. I'll give you more. Thank you. I'll drop that money. Come massage my back. Uncle, I don't know how to massage. Don't worry, I'll teach you. There's always a first time. Take off your footwear. Hurry, hurry, hurry. hurry. Have you ever done it with a man before? Tried what? God forbid. I don't roll like that. Relax. Don't say things you regret. Trust me, it's the most enjoyable feeling.
you know how women are mm. okay you know what um uh, just give them something to drink anything they want uh, yes um i'll see them later they should wait You know my problem with you? you, you sound like a broken record. My husband, my husband, my, my husband. The monotone is killing me. Sir, I'm sorry, but I have never cheated on my husband Good. before. Good. Have never, ever cheated on your husband. What value has that added to anything? And yet he cannot provide your basic needs. Oh yes, I'm a man. I should understand. And I do understand. That's why I hope and pray that one day he will be able to bounce back on his feet. But before then, how do you hope to support him? Yes sir, that is why I'm here. You know you're friends with him. I was hoping I could raise some money from you. Just like that? You were hoping you could walk in here and like magic I would just give you money? <laughs> he doesn't work that way. Nothing goes for nothing. You're a very beautiful woman. You should know what I'm talking about. Listen, if you need my help, you'll meet me at the beach resort this night and then we can talk if you can't come too bad no problem I, i'll find a way to come you'll come yes okay then we can talk one on one. Hey, I'll ask one of my drivers to drop you. Charity. Come. No kiss. Can you get that at the resort? Yes, I will. I just left here now. Let one of the drivers drop off. Yes. Sister Meg, I... I must say I admire your courage and steadfastness in the Lord. I mean, you are a living example of what the Lord can do. Look at the sudden transformation in your life. That is why I always stress in prayer. Because I know it is the only solution to your problems. Uh, Pastor, I'm so grateful to God. Yes. I appreciate his favors on us. But, Pastor, I'm still not happy. Neither am I contented. <laughs> that. You see, don't worry. Sooner than you know it, our good Lord will bless you again with the fruit of the womb. Amen. And amen. Pastor, I can't wait to have a little one to pamper and shower love to. Pastor. Pastor, I'm so, so lonely. My husband is always busy and it worries me that he doesn't follow me to church. Oh, <laughs> that. You see, don't worry yourself. 
Our good lord will arrest your husband very soon. All you need to do is always remind him to pay his tithe. But it is very, very important. Very, very important. Okay. Mm. That's all. Have this. It's just a token. Mm? Always remember to pray for me. But you already given the church a check of one million naira. Pastor, that was for the church fundraising program. Hmm? This one is for you. Come on, take it. It's for you. For me? Yes. Thank you very much. See, the Lord will bless you. Amen. His peace shall always abound with you. Amen. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Pastor. Okay. I'll be on my way now. Okay. God be with you. Good afternoon, Alice. How are you? You're welcome. Please, please come sit down. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Come take 200,000 out okay? Go give it to the driver, okay? Tell him to use it. You know what I mean. Just give me the drive, okay? Alice, you look uncomfortable. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm I'm fine, sir. It's just that uh, I've never been to this kind of place before, sir. Oh well, I understand. I understand. Well, this is my new hotel. Okay, I'm going to officially open it by Saturday. I hope you'll be here. <laughs> if you want me to, sir. Oh sure, why not? Why not? Something to drink? Something to eat? No, I'm okay, sir. I ate before coming. What about a drink? Thank you, sir. I don't want anything. How old are you, if I may ask? I'm 18 years old, sir. 18 years old? I presume you're done with school? No, sir. My... My father said I should wait until next year when things improve, sir. Oh, my dear. Anyhow, never mind, okay? I will ensure you go to school. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you, sir. A beautiful girl like you shouldn't waste at all. And should you have need for anything, don't hesitate to come to me. Okay. Thank you, sir. Please. Come, my dear. Come sit down here. Relax, okay? Are you a virgin? Hi. I've never been with a man before, sir. So. Oh, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. I don't like sports girls at all. No, not at all. Keep it. Keep your virginity. Don't lose it. Okay? Thank you, sir. Good. Uh, uh, come, 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 come with me. Come, get up, get up. to resist me, don't, because all the beautiful things in this world and all the monies you can ever imagine will be yours, as if you take me to be your boyfriend. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Is that okay? Good, now come, come, after you.
Richard, what is it? What's he doing here? I can't believe it. It's a lie. It's as if they're here for you. Good day. Good Are you Elsie? Yes, I'm Elsie. Sir Richard wants to see you. Sir Richard wants to see you. Come for me, Richard. Wants to see you. Come, you. Come for it. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How do you do? I'm fine, sir. Would you be so kind to call your brother for me? My brother? Yes, your brother, not you. Nigga stop all this fronting, money and no damn thing The for sure girl say me and you go wrong things I can make it budge, that's why money's balling My money so long, it make me higher down the mountain Yes, I pop bottles all day It means nothing to me, so it's all on me, yeah This is, you call me the weather man Before I make a cloud, now I'm making rain Ask me, brain, hey! <laughs> <laughs> you know what the volume of this thing is? Stop, it's it's out, man, I'm working on my rhymes <laughs> Woo! What's up? You. Come on, look, listen, stop dreaming, okay? See, fortune is at the front and it's beckoning on you. Fortune is at the front and I see it beckoning on you. I love that. Don't fit into my eyes. I'm not Jesus talking hip hop, I'm talking money. Real cash! Ah. <laughs> listen, you know? Nanja never know. Hip hop is untapped, it's something that can never be ignored. You, you, listen, okay, stop all these things you're saying, huh? Sir Richard is outside and he's asking of you. Sir what? Come on, don't tell me you don't head of Sir Richard the money back. Itego? Yes! What does he want? Search me now, bros. Come on, yeah. let's go. Let's go, let's go. But see, come on, come on, see this thing first. No! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's not every day that one has a beautiful woman to keep him company. Sir, please, stop flattering me. Um, it's not flattery. If your husband doesn't appreciate you, then I don't know what's wrong with him. But I believe and know that you are an epitome of beauty. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You know, I was shocked when you walked into my office. It's been two years since we last saw each other. Last time I saw you was um, at my wife's funeral. We actually came prepared for war. But then, fortunately, it turned out that my new landlord happened to be you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So how's your husband? Uh, he's fine. He's fine. Well, it's just that um, things are a bit tight right now. Things are very rough. You know, with government banning most of the stuff he used to import. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a rough time for us. I don't understand. It's everywhere. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Nicole, when will I see you again? Um, I'm sure you'll see me again somehow. I mean, after all, you are my new landlord. <laughs> Mm. 
my dear Meg, I sent for you because it's over two years since the loss of your baby. I mean, what are you and your husband doing about it? Actually, I'm just coming back from the church. I went to see my pastor because he's helping me to pray over it. <laughs> Meg, do you need the permission of your pastor to get pregnant again? Harriet, you don't understand. Me and my husband has been trying for so long. But there's no result. Honestly, I need God's intervention to get pregnant. <laughs> my dear Meg, you are really naive. You are. I mean, can't you and your husband try to find out if your problem is medical? Or don't you think the death of your child could be affecting you psychologically? We have been to several doctors. It's the same result. There is nothing medically wrong with us. That's what the results always say. Well, I am saying this because the kind of money your husband is making lately. <laughs> Before you close your eyes and open them, he will be marrying another woman. <laughs> My husband still loves me very much. Okay. Though I must admit, certain aspects of his life has changed tremendously. How do you mean? Okay. He doesn't follow me to church as often as he used to. He prefers to lavish money on the pastor and tell him to pray about our problems and... Do you think he's into women? Honestly, I don't. Though I have my reservation, but I can vouch for him on that. Brother, he has developed this interest in young men. Perhaps because he's, he wants to go into show business. Christian, are you all right? What is wrong with you? Didn't you see us here? I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I need to lie down. Christian, are you okay? Sure. I just need to rest a while. I hope you haven't gone to take alcohol as usual. Is he into alcohol? <laughs> what do you expect? Like father, like son. No! He's too young for that. You should start now to cancel him, else he will get out of hand. My dear, I will. I will, okay? Meanwhile, back to what we're discussing. Don't you think you and your husband should visit a spiritualist? Ha! Huh. God forbid. Harriet, how can you say such a thing? Even my husband will not... Please. No. I have to be on my way. Okay, I'm just trying to be concerned. Let me see you after the date.
I'm still here. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just, uh, just wondering. Seems like I know him from somewhere. I was wondering, sir. Is it that you just want to help every young man you meet? Because I've observed the way you look at young boys. Oh, um, actually, I, I had um, aspirations and dreams as a young man, but unfortunately, due to lack of funds, I didn't achieve those dreams. So when I see a, a young man who's got talent, who's got potentials, I always want to help. I like the way you put it. Tell me, you like women? <laughs> Who doesn't? Well, I don't. I'd rather spend a fortune on a handsome young man like you. That's rather strange. And how do you mean strange? You mean if I'm willing to give you the whole world, you won't want to get closer to me? Depends on what? Listen, it's only a fool who will see how to better his life and not jump at it. Relax, when we're done here, we'll go somewhere more private so I can play your music. Relax. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. Especially my school. <laughs> and he gave you 100,000 naira for your time. Yeah. Though, he said he likes me. Alice, if I slap you two times now, by the time I slap you twice, you fall inside this way, you tell me the truth. Tell me the truth now. Did he slap you? Did he touch you? Did he touch you? See, he tried though, but I refuse. I didn't lie. I refuse. I didn't forgot. Anyway, since Chofi uh, Kemba likes you, he's very good like that. He's also a free giver. <laughs> 100,000. Just like that. It's alright. <laughs> Me, Efeda, I like to meet him. Yes. He likes young girls and he doesn't devour them either. So never pass on the contacts. You too like money, and I know. The money. When do you want to start spending? We can't buy fine clothes. Not all this kind of clothes you wear. I have good taste. Check me out. Alice! Hey! Ma! Please help me. How many times have I told you to stay away from Alfreda? She's a spoiled child, you ma! But eh? mama, come and get me that water, sister. Oh, ah, sister, put them on me. Mama, I'm coming. It was not an Afraid, afraid. Sports again. See Alice. See Alice. <laughs> Alice must think I'm a fool. What is that? He didn't touch me. All oh, that big nyash. He did not shoot too small.
So, I hope your husband won't be cross for you for coming back so late. Not really. Mm. Although, I've never been out this late before. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that means you need to make up a very good lie, which would not involve me. Of course, we never saw each other today, did we? Of course not. That's uh, 200,000. You can use it for whatever you want. And then uh, the next time we'll meet, which I hope will be very soon, um, you tell me what kind of business you'd like to start. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey. Come here. Now I see why your husband is so crazy about you. You're very sweet. Making me very nervous. I'm just thinking about all the things we can do together. Relax. Things like what? I'll show you. What are you? Calm down. You'll love it. Besides, think about the games. A lot of money, your own car, a record deal. See, I, I, I've, I've not done this before. I know. There's always a first time. And trust me, you will love it. It's a whole new world. So where are you coming from by this time? I'm going to withdraw a debt. Really? You went to withdraw a debt? But you never told me anybody was owing you money. Uh, I wanted to collect the money first before I told you about it. Two hundred thousand naira. But what did you do to earn such a huge amount of money? Uh, I supplied some merchandise to a friend. Some merchandise, you said? Yes. Will this merchandise perhaps be you? What do you mean by that now? I mean, you know, you supply yourself to a man. Obi, are you insinuating that I slept with another man? I am not insinuating nothing. It is a fact. We've been married for six years now. And the best way you can thank me for being patient and understanding is that I'm cheating on you. Everybody understands how hard the economy is. But that would not make them not to frown at a woman who has lost her faith and decides to sell her body for money. Oh, how dare you! I 
I will be fair to you for all we've gone through. Living together as man and wife under the same roof. But what I never figured was the fact that that you would betray me. Opie, I didn't betray you. Keep your eyes to yourself. Someone saw you tonight when he went to Beach Resort Hotel to go see my friend whose fortune has turned around. Opie, I'm sorry. Don't tell me that. I'm sorry. Don't ever tell me that you're sorry. Charity. I am going to ask you this. Did you sleep with Azubike? No. I did not. I didn't. I didn't sleep with him. Stop. Stop. You have to believe me. You will have to pack your things and live in peace. Please. Stop. But if you insist, I will expose this to the world. Please. I am ashamed of you. I am so disappointed in you. I'm sorry. And I can never live with a woman like you under the same roof. To know what was wrong with him, he disappeared, leaving a pool of blood. I followed it to the. It's alright. It's okay. I feel his presence sometimes too, you know. But life must go on. But you don't understand. The blood was flowing out from that room you instructed us not to enter. God, you are my wife that I love so much. If you must know, I mourn his death in that room every other day. Perhaps that's, that, that, that explains the blood you saw, because his death was tragic. It's alright, go back to sleep, okay? We're going to have a busy day tomorrow. Go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, 
for the truth be said i would rather be dead than be poor i agree with you a hundred percent i mean money is everything you know and that is why i choose to hang only with the successful <laughs> that's my good talk success rubs off i know yes, right you should be wise uh, you should be wise young man i am isn't that one with you <laughs> woman mm -hmm. i am going to turn your life around like never before do you believe me of course i do oh <laughs> um this is my woman nicole um she was my late wife's best friend and i think she deserves every and any good thing that my wife would have gotten from me i think so oh dear gosh i'm so touched thank you nice choice beautiful lady oh thank you My boy, how are you? Uncle, since after that day, I have not been feeling fine. What kind of stupid talk is that? What, what do you mean you haven't been yourself since since which day? Since after the day you slept with me. What kind of bullshit talk is that? Listen to me, have you told anyone about this? I did not tell anybody. Let's leave it that way, okay? I don't have anything to do with you. I didn't, I didn't do anything with you, all right? Don't call my phone. If there's something wrong with you, if you're sick, you see a doctor. Take care of yourself, something. Don't call me. Meg, you can't continue like this. Richard, you won't understand. You won't understand. Christian died a horrible death. It was obvious that something demonic took over him. Well, uh, you know, 
young men and their ways. Who knows what he got himself into? That's the question that keeps lingering on my lips. Like I said before, sweetheart, you can't continue like this. All right? You need to put this behind you. Put yourself together. Please. I remember you talked about going to see the doctor and, and the pastor, right? Uh -huh. That's what you should do. Go out. Look around. See the world. You just get it off your mind, huh? Are you not going with me to see the pastor? You want me to go with you? Of course, yes. Of course, I know you would like me to go with you. But, unfortunately, I won't. Okay, hand this over to the pastor. Tell him to intensify prayers. Richard, your presence will matter a whole lot. You can't continue to be evasive each time I'm to go to church for prayers. I'm not the pastor. I don't think he needs my presence to pray to God on our behalf to give us a child. Sweetheart, how can you talk like this? How can you say such a thing? We are the ones in need here. My love, a child will come when it will come. Okay? Believe in God. Believe in God and everything will be alright. Besides, my dear, look around you. Come, take a very good look around you. And yes, look, you should be happy that I, I can provide you with all these things. Everything money can buy. Your money cannot buy me a child. At least my money can help us adopt one. It's, it's, it's all right, it's all right. Don't mind me. I was just, I was just joking. My love, I know you need a child. I need a child of our own as well, but let's not rush things. Believe in God. Believe in the Almighty God. A child will come when he says yes. Okay? I need to be on my way now. Kiss, kiss. Have a nice day. Before Christian died, he said something. What did he say? Your name was the last thing he mentioned before succumbing to death. Oh, really? Well, um, I'm obviously not the only Richard he knows. He didn't mention my surname, did he? He was holding his cell phone. So out of curiosity, I checked his last died number. It was yours. Oh. And what's this cross-examination all about? Richard, please. I was expecting some sort of explanation from you. Not pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, yes, he, 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 called, he called me. He called me. I was at BK Bass Hotel at that time. He said he was having stomach upset. And I told him I was indisposed. They should go see a doctor. That's about that. So, why haven't you mentioned this before? Well, my dear, I'm a very busy man. It obviously skipped my mind. Have a lovely day. My friend, I do not like the materials you people used for this building. I specifically told the structural engineer what I wanted. But what do you do? You guys go ahead and do whatever you want. You're given one mandate and then you take another. Now, what would happen if this building collapses and kills the people living in it? No. Who would the law come after? Me! No, sir. Just, just, just shut up. Shut up. You have nothing to say. Just get, get, get out of here. My dear, I'm so, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. That, that, that's the problem. 
And that's the more reason I would want you to take over as my estate manager. Then you can oversee this for me. And handle all this. Well, me? Estate manager? Yes. <laughs> for, for real? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's nothing. Now, have I ever told you why I have this passion for buildings? So, you know, I have several of them all over the city. Wow. No, no, I, I don't know. Okay. The truth is, um, before God blessed me, my landlord threw me out of the house because I couldn't afford to pay for my apartment. And so I swore that whenever God blesses me, I was going to build things like this all over the city and give it at, at low rate. And now that you are the new estate manager, <laughs> that's your job. <laughs> wow, I, I don't believe this. I... It's okay. Now, let me show you around a little bit. Of course. Hmm? Oh, sure. Wow. My friend, move the dummy. matter with you? I, I don't know. I've been feeling feverish recently. And you decide not to tell anyone? Eh? What? I, 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 I thought it would go away. Where did you get that phone from? The phone, um, and whose own is it then? Alfreda. Alfreda? It belongs to her. I've told you to stop being friends with that girl. She will only spoil you. Right now, go and give her that thing back immediately and come back here. Let me take you to the hospital for a checkup. Awesome! You be fool. You are a complete fool. Manesian. Nesiano. Between you and I now, who is the spoiled brat? I'm sorry. I didn't. You didn't. You didn't want to tell me. Because you thought Alfreda will go heralding the news to everybody. And now, you are pregnant. <laughs> hey! Oh, okay. My mother will kill me. My mother will kill me. Hey! And now, my problem is here again. Okay? As usual, I will catch the grenade for you. Hey! I will take the blame. Elfreda the bad influence. Elfreda the rotten egg. Elfreda the spoiled brat. Elfreda. Elfreda every time. Please help me. What am I going to do? <laughs> what you're going to do is that you will call Chief Kemba and tell him that you are that you are pregnant. I can't do that. <laughs> you will not only do that, you will ask him to give you some money. If he refuses, you will tell him that you will go to his wife. <sighs> but this is not fair now. Okay, see. I still have 50,000 of his money. Help me with the doctor now, please. <laughs> Let's go, 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 let's go
pick woman. I'm pregnant, sir. Now, does anybody else know about this? Yes, sir. <laughs> no, sir. But my mother wants to take me to the hospital for checkup, sir. <clears throat> listen, listen to me. Don't go. Don't. Doctor friend who is very good at all. I arrange for you to meet him, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. the same thing. He promised he's going to arrange a doctor for me. Hey, shut up, it's not the same thing. How can it be the same thing? Eh? What this means is that he will pay for the bills. But if you had asked for some money like we, like I told you, would have done this, this abortion for chinchiri money and have some change left. I didn't know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. I just got you. Thank you very much. Because you need me in times like this. <laughs> Thank you. Dick. What is your reason for not being happy for me? A man does not go out of his way to please a woman for nothing. And who says he's going out of his way? You seem to forget that his wife and I were best of friends. And even when things were going terribly bad for them, I supported her somehow. See, it's not that I am not happy for you, but he's offering you a very big position. What do you know about real estate? What? Couldn't you have employed someone more qualified than you? Hey! Please, what is this? Is this, is this jealousy? Is this envy or what? Obviously, you are not happy for me. Are you not aware that in this country, people who read religious studies end up becoming bank managers? And people who study zoology end up in the uh, 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 aviation and petroleum industries? This country, Nigeria, is all about man, no man. And that is what I'm saying. Because I know Azubike. I know Azubike very well. There's a speculation that his fortune turned around after his first wife died. Hey! I cannot believe this. I cannot believe that you would consent so low as to listening to all this stupid gossip and rumors. He has reputation of going after people's wives. Uh -huh. Now you're talking. Huh? You just hit the nail on the head. You should have just gone straight to the point. You just finally, in all of this talk, you just finally said that, that one thing that is eating you up. Let me disappoint you for your information. That man is a kind, nice, decent gentleman who has never ever looked at me with lust. Do you understand? The guy is simply worried that things are not just moving on well with us. And he's trying to help. 
Am I complaining? Oh, well, I am. I am. I want things to pick up for you. I want your business to get back on its feet. I am here trying to help. Instead of you being appreciative, you're there complaining over little and irrelevant things. For your information, you see that position? I am not giving it up. Whether you like it or not. So, get used to it. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Have we met before? Um, no, sir. She's my friend. I needed to confine it somewhere. I see. That's okay. Um, Kira? Sir, please get that stuff, okay? And make sure it gets to where it ought to. Consider it done. Some refreshments? No, sir, we're well, fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> We'd like something to eat and drink. Like, like what? Uh, like food and a bottle of wine. Yes, um, I'd like to have a full course lunch. Yes, the house special with some freshly squeezed uh, juice to go with it immediately. It will be here very soon. Thank you, sir. So, um, Alice. Sir. Aside your friend here, does any other person know about this? Um... Uh, her mom. Her mom knows. She actually wanted to take her to the hospital, but I objected. I kicked against it. Smart. It's very smart of you. Thank you. Mm, you shall be very duly rewarded for it. Thank you, sir. You see, I have a doctor friend who's very good at things like this. He's wonderful. He's amazing. One of my assistants will take you to see him immediately. Okay. Thank you, sir. Do you know what I find? exciting about you. It's your striking resemblance to my late wife. Yeah. I'm so sorry. So you were a widow? Yes, I am. But it's okay. It's been over a year now. So, I'll be okay. The only challenge I have right now is the fact that I have not been able to find that perfect woman to take her place. Uh -uh. But there are a lot of beautiful women out there. I mean, with their kind of money. You have the money. At least, it shouldn't be a problem getting someone that suits your taste. Money? Yes. Money. Tell me, do you love your husband? Of course I do. Good. Now that's the kind of woman I want. A woman that loves me for me, not because of who she thinks I am. Okay, I get it. Okay, in that case, I will introduce you to my younger sister. 
She's pretty. Very pretty. Your sister? Yes. Pretty. She is not here. She can never, ever, ever be you. Please. Shh. Listen. There is something I see in you that you don't even know you possess. I'm pregnant, married, I'm even due. Perfect. Totally perfect. I want you. I want everything about you. I want to possess you. I will take care of you. I will take care of your child. You can have this child in the best hospital in this country or any other country you want. Just trust me. Trust me. Yes. No visitors. No phone calls. This is not right. Please stop. Everything is right. When the game is perfect. Come. Come. Get this right from <laughs> it's mine. I just got it. Don't make me verse again. Now, what did they verse me for you? Be this one, eh? Yeah, I mean, better. Nobody there here. Who did you borrow this car from? I'm serious. It's mine, Filippo. I don't suspect you. The blast you don't join this. Yahoo boys. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, better. Don't they make me reverse again. No, not be the same music. All of us they play. You know what? I, I, I met this guy, eh? he, he, he's about to float a new record company. You know, he, he heard my jam and he loved it. So he signed me on and this thing is part of the deal, man. You don't mean it. Very serious. Filippo, what are our friends for? Um, with this one willing to at least hear my demo? Of course! See, this guy is willing to sign young talented artists. Very soon in Nigeria, his record label is going to be the biggest. Filippo, I can't afford to miss such an opportunity. Please! Man, don't worry. Hop in, hop in. See, I was about to go and grab a bite at that fast food joint down the street. Man, I'm really I understand Chief has someone I need to attend to urgently. Yes, Doctor. Hello there. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. It's okay. You'll be all right. By the time I run a test on you, I'll know exactly what's wrong with you. Can we go inside? Uh, excuse me, Doctor. My colleague here will stand by to collect the merchandise. It's okay. Shall we? No. Hello. Can I see you? Me? Yes, just brief. Mm. Um, Chief, you can back it, you back it, if you Why did you say so, sis? He gave me the sum of 100,000 ah! for your support and silence. 100,000? Where's the money? But make sure 
another year doesn't hear this. Because if you do, you won't know what to hit you. This is the money. Second, here is Chief Direct Lines. Make sure you keep that safe. It's your meal ticket. Ah, I like the way you say that. My meal ticket? <laughs> I like you so well. You are a very smart girl, but don't let your smartness consume you. Uh, <laughs> I have to, my friend. <laughs> bye bye. Mommy, what is wrong? Huh? You, 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 you can't fail me now. You know daddy loves you so much. What is eating you? What's making you angry? She must not get pregnant. You know, your mother must not get pregnant. If she gets pregnant, she will have another child who will end up taking your place in my heart. And that will mean divided love. We can't let that happen. You know, we just can't let that happen. She must not get pregnant. Mommy, please. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you so much. Just continue making daddy rich. And I promise you, I will do everything, anything, whatever it is to make you happy. I will grant all your heart desires, all your wishes. Please. Mommy loves you. Hombros, hombros, hombras, pero hay tu mundo que la blu de este por la tu balas hasta humba. I just said it, I just said it, you. Beautiful. Lovely. Sweetie, what is, what is this? Why don't you have interest in me anymore? I never said so. Baby, what is it? What, what, what have I done wrong? Just anything. Just tell me. I'm ready to make amends. Tell me what I've done wrong to you. Meg, Meg. Meg, you're beginning to nag. And I don't like it one bit. You know that. Since your business turned around for the better, you have changed towards me. That's not true. You are the one who has changed. Your desperation for a child is it's tearing us apart. Relax. Calm down. I'm not God. I don't give children. Okay? Relax. God will give us a child, another child at his own time. Calm down. Don't you believe in God anymore? I do. Good. So relax. Keep praying. Pray hard. Intensify your prayers and Stop throwing yourself at me like some, some cheap slut. Baby. My love. Hello. My sweetheart. My hope. You're yeah, my first and only love. I believe in you and I trust your judgment. I've never disappointed you for once. Please, my love, I beg you to love me. Please, love me. It's been months and you've never touched me. I am your wife. Please. And what's all this history for? Of course, I'm still the best and not the least. Please. Please, my love. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> You know how much 
much I hate to see you cry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've always loved you. I understand the way you feel. I'm sorry, everything will be fine. Okay? Thank you. First things first. You had a very busy day. Go to bed. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I said, go to bed. Go to sleep. Junior calling me in my dream. Do you want to join him? Hey, honey, why are you sounding this way? Because I'm sick and tired of this, your recent constant nightmares. I'm sick and tired of it. Can't you just get over this boy's death and let's move on with our lives? I am trying. Believe me, I am trying. Over a year? I know him and Lucy, not our children. For crying out loud, gold. Be contented with what, what God has done for us. God has been fair on us. Alright? Are we lacking anything? I'm asking you. Are we lacking anything? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have reminded you of him. Just that sometimes I feel so... so miserable and depressed. Honey, look, I'm, I'm just being concerned about your health. You can't go on like this. No, you can't. The children and I need you. We need you alive. I don't know why this nightmare keeps happening. Honey, it's like he's living within us. Like his spirit. His spirit is calling me to reach out to it. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You see, you don't love him anymore than I do. But we have to go with our lives.
Your phone is disturbing my sleep. Hello? Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, good evening. Did I wake you? I'm um, sorry, I didn't know it was you. Actually, I couldn't sleep and um, I was somewhat disturbed and felt lonely. And then I thought about you. Okay, uh, that's nice. But uh, why do you feel lonely? Thoughts of my wife, my late wife, and then I thought about uh, her best friend. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry. I wish there was something I could do. <laughs> yeah, I've actually done a lot. Sincerely, I want you to know that uh, speaking to you has made me feel better. <sighs> Good to know that it consoles you. Okay, uh, good night. Good night. Bye. Who was that? No one you know. Safely and you will deliver safely, okay? Uh, but what I can't understand is you yourself changing the hospitals at this point in time. Who will put the bill of that expensive <laughs> hospital you've chosen? I have told you before the foundation for better health of women will take care of the bills okay. even after I have delivered. Uh, okay, the foundation was that's the, the, the people that gave you that 200 and something thousand I saw in the bag. This man, you talk too much, drive fast! You talk too much! Oh, it's coming, oh! The baby's coming! Oh, 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 oh be fast now! Be fast! Oh, 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 She's in level and her water has, bro has broken. Where is your wife? Inside the car. Why do you live inside the car now? I, I'm confused. It's this is our first, it's our first time. Down. It's okay. It's okay. Take us to your wife. Please, let's go.
night, Thomas. What I am saying is, at least my late daughter was a nice, decent, withdrawn child until she began to mix with Alfreda. Continue. I am listening. Alice never had a boyfriend, talk less of knowing a man. Uh -huh. I am still listening. Alice never had a boyfriend, talk less of knowing a man. Yes. Okay. The point I'm trying to make is that it was Alfreda that led to her tragic deaths. Mm. Eunice, mm -hmm. have you finished? Yes. What happened to my Alice can happen to anybody. God forbid. Uh, uh. No, Alfred, who done? Hmm. Woman, hmm? thank you for your advice. You can now go. No. What I am saying is that you should caution Alfreda. Eko. Let the death of my daughter be a warning to her. Excuse me, madam. Did you inform your husband that you are coming to my own house to insult me and my family? Hey, Thomas, this is not what I expected of you. What do you expect of me? No problem. Hey! As you walk, what? Oh, look, what? Fear! Woman. As you walk, what? Nonsense, woman. Papa, Mama, see this woman. Instead of her to go to her village and find out what killed her daughter, she's here pointing accusing fingers. Don't mind her. What is that? Don't mind her. I mean, Alice was my friend. My very good friend, and I. God knows I miss her. I miss her all the time. But this woman comes there again to remind me of Alice's death and so to people. God knows Alice sort her back. Foolish <laughs> woman. Nice. Don't mind her. You see her stop with the sleep. Yaga can wake her. I built this house like I built several others with the sole aim of helping people in need. Mr. Matthew, on the street, which building takes the lowest rent? Chief, this compounds. Thank you for appreciating it. Now, I, I'll come back to what I was saying before. But first, let me do something. Um, I'd like to introduce Miss Nicole to you. Uh, she's my new estate manager, or you can also call her your caretaker. Um, she will be in charge of any transaction that has to do with this building. The old caretaker has been fired. Adam, you are welcome. You are welcome. Auntie, you are, you are highly welcome. Auntie, welcome, ma. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me go back to what we were talking about before. Uh, Mr. Matthew, you're a good Christian, are you not? By his grace, I am. Good. I am also a very good Christian. I love God. H have I ever told anyone in this building not to worship God or go to church? Have I? Not to my knowledge, sir. Fantastic. I have never. Uh, that brings me to you, Mr. Jude. Yes, sir. You're owing me rent. Yes, sir. And I'm making every effort to see that I raise the money and I fulfill the bill, sir. Good. I like that. Have I ever disturbed you or threatened to evict you for not paying? No, sir. Not at all, sir. So why do you take my kindness as an act of stupidity? Why have you suddenly turned my building into a church? Chief, I think you are... I, just shut up. Shut up. I wasn't talking to you. You speak when I speak to you. Now you people are taking my kindness for granted. Now I ask. If you want to worship God or lament to God, where do you go? To the church, church sir. sir. Sorry? To the church, church sir. sir. To the church. Not my building. Now listen. The next time this happens, I will evict all of you. And then probably turn the building into a church. Then you can all come and visit as a congregation. Is that what you want? Yes, Is that what you want? No, sir. No, sir. Good. Residential, not church.
The congregation is over. Go back to your class. Daniel from Lion Dead. Almighty known God, I will deliver my wife, deliver her so that she will deliver safely in Jesus' mighty name. Has my wife delivered? Yes, to a goat. I've never done this before. Why do you think I'm madly in love with you? It's because you're a virgin. Pure and innocent. That's why. Do you love me? Of course I love you. Won't Auntie or Noe be upset if they find out? No matter who will tell them. Then let's not do it. If it's wrong. And who says it's wrong? If we are hiding it, that means it's wrong. Besides, my mother said I should not have anything to do with any man until I'm married. Not again. Samantha. Yes. Have you been to London before? No. That's where I'll take you to. Hmm? That's where I'm going to take you to. So you get to see all the beautiful things there. And all those beautiful things will be yours as my second wife. Do you want to marry me? Yes, I want to marry you. Oh. And then get you away from Noem and her mother. And then England will be your home. Don't worry, sweetheart, okay? I am going to take very good care of you, okay? Mm. Because you're so special to me. And I'm sure your parents will be happy.
Keep me waiting. Ah, I'm sorry, I had to go pick up my friend that I told you about. Good day, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. Sit down. Sit down. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. Philip told me a lot about you and your music. Thank you very much, sir. Waiter. What would you like? What would you guys like to drink? Just a cold beer. Uh, a bottle of cold water. I'm still here. Oh, forgive me. Just wondering why your friend wants just water. I know you guys in the music business, especially rappers. You know, you're known for taking drugs and throwing alcohol and all other vices. Uh, sir, you might not be right. I, our attitude while performing certainly has nothing to do with our private lives. It's just a hype. Sure you're cool with this one. Uh, yes, sir. Are you alright, Philip? I'm cool. Okay, I've played your demo and I've seen you. I'll sign you. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Excuse me, let me go say hi to the girls. Yeah. Tell me more about yourself and your music. I, so I, right now, I'm in the studio. I, I have a single I'm working on now. Okay. But I would have loved to feature one of these big stars, but due to financial, you know. It's all right. Now you're with me. I'll make that possible. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. It's okay. Man, any of them you want, just a phone call. The person will come down. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I'm grateful, sir. My sister, something is terribly wrong somewhere. I mean, how can a man so loving, so nice, suddenly changed? Sister, I don't know. It all started after I lost my daughter. Now it's even worse. He doesn't have time for me anymore. You know, Meg, remember I asked you the last time you came to my house. I asked you if he was into women and you said no. Sister, can I can assure you, my husband is not into women. Then what is the matter? I mean, why is he no longer interested in you? Why is he no longer carrying out his duties as a husband? Does he want you to go outside? Sister, do you know that? My husband accused me of nagging and trying to incite him like a cheap prostitute. What? He said that to you? Yes. He said even worse things to me. Oh my God. I, I, I just hope he's not trying to get you out of the way. You know men, when they are tired of a woman, they come up with different kind of things just to get you out of the way. Sister, I have not done anything to Richard to deserve such ill treatment from him. I have not. I have been a caring, loving, faithful wife to him. His newfound wealth has never gotten into my head. I'm still the same person. What did I do to him to deserve such ill treatment from him? What? Meg, I think I have to suggest you see the pastor. Though we know he doesn't go to church anymore, but at least he will listen to the pastor. We have to employ him. He has to know about this new development. Okay? 
Come on, stop crying. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Right? It's okay. No, oh. <laughs> What a pleasant surprise. Good afternoon, Uncle. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you. Oh. Good to see you. Uncle, how are you? Fine. Oh, I am happy you're here. Hi. Um, why dressed like a Makosa dancer? Oh, Uncle, my jean. Uncle, this is fashion now. Fashion? Well, yeah. This is the in thing in town. <laughs> My daughter. In the jungle, the monkey and the gorilla may claim oneness. But the fact is, monkey is monkey. Gorilla, gorilla. <laughs> anyway, uh, how is your mother? Yes, uh, mom is fine. She's doing fine. Your sister? Lucy, that one. Stubborn head. Uh, she's doing good. And, um,. How is your father, Chief Ikemba? Popsy, that man is so busy. Always busy. I am so excited that you are here. Because you people hardly visit me except I come to your house. No, 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 no. Uncle, how can you say that? It's not like that now. Okay, I'm sorry. Hmm? But don't worry. From now on, we'll be visiting more often. That will be good of you. Remember, I am your mother only brother. You and your sister need to get closer so that you know where your mother came from. That's true. That's very good. Yes, Uncle. Okay. Before I forget. Mom said I should give this to you. To me? This must be the document of the property she bought for me. I don't know. She just said I should give it to you. Yes. Tell her thank you. Thank yeah. <laughs> you. I will. I will. Oh, this is good. This is good. Um, I have some juice in the fridge. No, 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 Uncle. I'll, I'll have all that when, when next I come. Are you sure? Yes, Uncle. The house is yours. I will eat your whole house when next I come. <laughs> <laughs> you women are all the same anywhere in the yeah, world. Right. I just asked you a simple question. What would you do if your husband decided to take a second wife and you freaked out? And started screaming, you kill him. Of course. Before Uncle. Aha. Look, I, I don't even like thinking about it. I can't stand any woman messing around my man. I'm a jealous one. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I, I agree. Now, let, let's look at it from a different angle. A totally different perspective. Would you ever... Okay. What would, you, what would make you cheat on your husband? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that's huge. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, I mean, I don't think any woman would just sit down and say, "Look, I want to cheat on my husband." Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as if you guys even appreciate all our sacrifices anyway. The answer, answer. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I would say only if mm -hmm. um it's you know highly necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like it's a, it's okay. I I'm sorry I'm making you uncomfortable. I, I won't push. I won't push this anymore. Okay, but I, I like your honesty. That's one of the many things I like about you, Nico. I I hold you in very high esteem. I don't know if you know that, and that's why there's practically nothing I wouldn't do for you. And now that you're the brand manager of my company, I, I think that uh, some things should change about you. Like the way you're dressed, the way you are seen outside, the kind of car you drive. And um, that's why I got this for you. Yeah, take it. Well for me? Yes. Come on. This is um, the key to a brand new jeep. For me? Yes. As... <laughs> easy, easy. Easy. I, I know you want to hug me and all that. Right? So, of, so, course, easy. of course, of course, of course. Oh, thank you. 
It's a. Oh, Jesus, I, I can never see this coming. Easy. Now, now that means you need to throw away that rickety old. Of course, of course. I. Mm. God, this is. Mm. Oh. Um, it's outside. Right now. Strike one. Now the game begins. you enjoy your meal. Yes, uh, your friend. The aware of manner she died it was quite distasteful. She was such a nice girl. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. A very sad break. Me. She was too nice. I can't believe she's dead. I have not even stopped talking about it. Do you know the worst? Her mother blames me for her daughter's death. I don't understand why. <laughs> she says a friend has a sports girl. That I am sports. What are you? <laughs> well. It will depend on what you mean by sport. Like, uh, are you into men? <laughs> I am not into men. But men kill themselves trying to get into me. But I am always smart enough to know when to run. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. So tell me, what does your father do for a living? <laughs> A horror thing. Easy, take it easy. Mm. Easy. <laughs> My father used to work in a factory as a supervisor. But now he's retired. I see. So how do you manage? We survive. We are survivors. In my hood, you must survive. You know that choice. Can you take? Ricks. I can take any kind of risk as long as it will work my way. I like that. I like that. I believe you like you, you know? <laughs> Especially your courage. Thank you. I sir. admire your courage so much. <laughs> Thank mm. you, sir. So tell me, Frida, how would you feel if I demanded you be my friend? I mean, just like Alice was to me. Chief. Are you asking me out? Well, not really. But are you a virgin? How would you ask me that? Sheer curiosity. You're not my husband, are you? <clears throat> Anyhow, here. When you're done, my driver will drop you. Okay? Feel free. Call me whenever you want to. Okay? All of it. All of it. Enjoy.
if a man out of wanting to protect his home looks the other way while his wife misbehaves that man is simply inviting trouble and what trouble could you possibly be talking about nicole you are getting out of hand you are getting out of hand and i cannot allow it in this house you must return that car to whoever that gave it to you eh? return it i will not return it that is my official car official car under whose employment under Azubike's employment as his estate manager estate manager and he gave you a jeep come nicole do you want people to laugh at me why don't you accept the fact that you are sleeping with him in as much as i respect you as my husband enough is enough what did i hear you say were you actually warning me? I can see that your jealousy for my success has finally blinded you. Nonsense. Me? Ow! Eh? Oh, you have beaten more than you can chew. So you slapped me. You have the effrontery to raise this young stinking hand to slap me. Hey! Uduma, you are finished. You are finished! You better pack your things and run out of this town because I will haunt you for the rest of your life. Do you know who you just slapped? Do you know who I am? You are my wife. I am not your wife. I will deal with you so messlessly you will regret the day you ever met me. Nonsense. Yes, I thought it was all those chikas. Mm. So you were expecting a chika? God forbid, no. <laughs> Where are you coming from? <laughs> from the market, I'm going home. Okay. Okay, get into the car. Let me drop you. No, Jeep. What will I tell my parents? I don't want. See this one. I am trying to rescue you from the scorching sun and you're just saying, hey, 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 hey. what will I tell my parents? You flock hard. Come on, get out. I don't even know what I was thinking, inviting you into this exquisite sky. I'll see if you can rock it like, like a Freda wheel. So good. Oh, yeah. Really? 
all your sin and your life. Are you serious? Are you going somewhere? Shall anyway, you're going to Zay. All the girls in my street. You see that in Fred. It's a big girl. Shall enter baby. the car. Enter, 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 enter. enter. Ah, follow, follow. No, no, no. Ah. Wait, please. Exit, wait. Oh, no problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't slam it. I'll help you. I have not seen you in months. And then from nowhere you appear and say that I am responsible for your pregnancy. Please be patient with me. My husband found out what happened between us and he kicked me out. I've been squatting with my sister ever since. So are you saying your husband is not responsible for the pregnancy i'm being honest with you i haven't been with anybody else besides you so what do you want i don't know that's why i came to meet you i was hoping that we could think of something together <laughs> Forgive me. <clears throat> so sorry, I, the, the truth is I don't know where to start from. Uh, okay, maybe I should start with saying congratulations. You are going to be a mother soon. And then I'll go ahead to advise you. Now the truth is, I, I think you should run back to your husband and beg him to forgive you and take you back. Hmm? The truth is, if you could cheat once, what law says that you can't cheat again? Let, let us assume that in my stupidity, I decide to take responsibility for this uh, thing you say is mine. How am I sure you will not turn around and sleep with my guards and my servants? Oh my God! How can you say such a thing? Just, just, just shut up. Shut up. What God are you talking about? What God? Where was this God when your legs were spread out? Where? Where was this God when you were cheating on your husband? Are you not a prostitute? Did I not pay you? Did you not take money for sex? And now you come here and say God? God. Yes, sir. Look at this face. Take a hard look at this face. I do not want to ever emphasis on ever set my eyes on this face again yes sir yes sir just in the unfortunate circumstance that she walks back into this house i am giving you permission to do whatever you want with her before you kill her and feed her to the dogs do you understand yes sir Women are pathetic. Take out! Good morning. 
Your phone is ringing. Won't you take your call? And how is that any of your business? And now it's ringing again. Look at this small girl. Mind your business. No call me, small girl. Do I need to? Mind your business. Hey, she thinks I'm a fool, Abby. Eh? After she'll be deceiving daddy. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. You soon. Don't worry. I think it's me and you. It's me and you in this house. Fights with my husband last night. A fight. I, I thought he was a gentleman. Well, he's accusing me of sleeping with you and insisted I should return the car. Where did he get that from? Okay, um. Maybe I should um, go with you to see him. No, no. I'm done. I mean, I'm, that is it. I'm, I'm out of this marriage for good. I think you need to calm down. Okay? Let's not take any drastic decision. Yes, I, I, I for one would not subscribe to a man hitting a woman. But again, ending your marriage, I don't think... Look... I am done with this marriage. For Christ's sake, can you blame me? I am not the reason why his business is crumbling, for Christ's sake. I will not allow him to all that anger and frustrations on me. No! He should go and look for what is wrong with him. Are you sure? Look, my mind is made up. And please, can we not talk about this again? Thank you. If your husband is foolish enough to let you out of his home and his heart, then I will be willing to take you into mine. I'm sorry. I've not been able to go out. Listen, listen. My dad will be very cross with me if I leave the house. I'm sorry, okay? I'll, 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 give, I'll, I'll give you the money as soon as... I'm sorry. I'll give you the money, okay? <laughs> How? Remember, he instructed us not to hang around this stuff. Oh, yeah. eh? oh, I'm we will kill it at his face. 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 We will
Tell Nandi to get a cutlass. We will find that snake and kill it. Yes! Yes! Let's kill the snake. <laughs> Nandi! Nandi! my son. Now, where, where, where is the snake? Where, 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 is, where is the snake? Give, give me that knife. Give me that knife. Give me the knife. Where, where, where is the snake?
sister married. Like I was telling you, in Matthew chapter 8, the Bible requires the faith. You see? Oh. Brother Richard. Oh. Pastor. Are you surprised to see me now? Um, no, 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 not really. I, I just didn't know you were coming. I came on and on. Even the Bible made us understand that the day Jesus Christ will come, that he's going to come like a thief and take us all on our ways. So all we need to do is turn back from our evil deeds and focus on the teachings of the Bible because it is the only book of life. Of course. Thank you very much, Pastor. You're welcome. Yeah. Meg, you didn't offer him something to drink for him. <laughs> no, 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 no. I did not come in search of anything. You see, I came to know why your wife, Sister Meg here, is becoming or has become a shadow of her old self. Excuse me? My wife here becoming a shadow of her old self? I don't understand what you're saying. My, my wife looks, she looks very happy to me. She is not happy. Yes. You see, as your legally married wife, it is your duty to make her happy. Well, like I said before, my wife here looks very happy to me and very beautiful. And if she says she's not happy, did she tell you what the problem is? But Richard, you and I know that since you lost your daughter to the good Lord, your wife here has not only prayed for her departed soul, but has also prayed that the good Lord blesses her again with the fruit of the womb. Well, Pastor. Medically, there is nothing wrong with me or my wife. I believe everything is fine. But recently, she has become rather frustrated and impatient. I pray that the good Lord changes the situation. Well, Richard, Sister Meg, I know, is a good woman. If she has changed lately as well, tell me now, then you need to search yourself. Because there must be something wrong you are doing. When the flesh, body, and soul seeks a Lego partner and all to no avail, then vices, confusion sets in. But I, said, I, I pray you don't be a party to this. Right, I'll say a very big amen to that. Thank you. I'll be taking my leave now, Brother Richard. I pray that you take good care of her. She's a nice woman. Women like this are of the Lord. I pray that the peace of the Lord be with you. And may He continue to shower His abundant mercies on you. Amen. Bye. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much for coming. Why did you invite him here without me? Sweetheart, I did not invite him. I only complained to him about our problem. He decided to visit. Let this be the very last time. You hear me? Don't you ever, ever do this in my house again. My clan. I hope you liked it. Yes, I did. You're a very fantastic lover. Perfect replacement for my late wife. <laughs> Thank you. I feel so safe with you. Shoot. You know what? You see that your so-called husband, oh. if he threatens you again, I will deal with him. Look, Uduma is history. I do not have time for lousy losers. That's my wife. <laughs> mm. Sorry. Hello? Yeah. What? When? Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, I'll be there soon. 
What is it? Um, you, you know my friend, uh, Chief Ikimba? Assassins uh, stormed his house and murdered everybody. Lord of Jesus! Uh, uh, hey, can you not say that blood thing in my house? You told me you were going to make me the biggest hip hop artist in the country. You told me your wife, you, your wife means nothing to you. You told me the marriage was just a camouflage and that I was the only one you truly loved. Can you just relax, put your voice down and stop acting like a child? I will not calm down. I mean, how could you secretly arrange to meet Mark here if you didn't want to tear his ass like you did to me? My arrangement with Mark was not a secret. If it was, I wouldn't have told you. Purely a business meeting. Then why, why, why at night? Why? Shut the fuck up. I don't owe you any explanation. I, I appreciate all you've done for me. I appreciate the jeep, I appreciate the money, I appreciate you trying to make me a better person in life. But you shouldn't have turned me into a bloody homosexual. And now you made me fall in love with you. See, I still love you very much. I care about you. Because my purpose for you has not been accomplished yet. Why then do you want to sleep with my friend? Well, because as you get older, more mature, you find yourself doing things that... things you just have to do. gonna love me tonight of course I will love you but that will be if you make it over the night chief I assure you that the police will not rest until we unravel these heartless devilish murderers and those that send them to commit such barbaric wicked and me aunt. I assure you that they will not go and punish. I assure you that. Now, this is this is this is confusing. Okay. What I still don't understand is why any man born of a woman and who has the fear of God in him commits such a cruel act. You know I I, uh, I still can't believe this. It's it's totally unacceptable. <sighs> If I may... No! It's no longer Chief lost his son. And now, this. No! No! That headless woman I saw is not my sister. It cannot be! No! <sighs> um, Commissioner, we may all rely on you as a security officer. But I rely on the gods of our land. Because this mystery is beyond the human eyes. Please, I beg of you, don't add to my sorrow. Don't add to my sorrow. We're all here seated, talking about how the police is going to unravel the crime or, and bring the corporates to book and to justice eventually. Are you here talking about the gods of our land? Where was the gods of our land when this happened to me? Where were they? I am the one who lost a wife. A woman I love so much. 
It is not me. I am the same person who lost my children. My children. If not for the fact that I have the fear of God in me, I would have just gone upstairs, picked up my gun, and hit the street and kill anybody I see on the road. G, Don't let me do Take it easy. Don't take the laws into your hands. The police are here. We are your friends. Just take it easy. I understand your situation. going to talk, but their talk has no effect on you. Who God has blessed, no man can curse. <laughs> hey, you mean with the wealth I perceived at the front gate, you still said you're considering his proposal? Babe, are you Elena? You know now, eh? You know how these things are. I just needed people like you to assure me that I was on the right track. You understand now? Babe, you're not only on the right track, but you have arrived. Hey! You have to grab all you can, as fast as you can. That's my girl. Do you even know why I called you? Amongst all my friends, it was only you that I called. Because I know that you have my back. You know, I've been thinking of something. I want to tell my sweetheart to put you in charge of our shopping complex. Huh? Yes, now. Me? <laughs> as for me, oh. My hands are too full for all those small, small, small investments. My eyes are on the bigger ball. <laughs> <laughs> me, manager of shopping complex. Better give me brandy, make a shock. I get brandy. Look, I bring her. Don't mind that, my foolish husband. The fool thinks I have been feeding the family, clothing, and paying the children's school fees from that little shop of mine. <laughs> little does he know that I have. All the politicians in town. Hey! Hey! I don't get them! Vengeance is a humba. It came by you made a mistake that you shouldn't have. And so I did what I was supposed to do. I guess it was just meant to be. That's all. It was just meant to happen. Hmm. It's sad. Honestly, it's truly sad. But you should console yourself with the fact that if you had not done what you did, probably your fate would have been worse. It's unfortunate, my brothers. But as sad as it sounds, life must go on. Nah, you know how could I hear me? I didn't come this far to fail. No, no. Mba. Mba. Impossible. If the eyes see what they are not supposed to see, then they will go blind. We have sacrificed enough for anybody or anything to hinder our success. True talk, Hazu. True talk. Take heart, Tikemba. Ahumba will reward you abundantly. Onwane Tilora. Ago. Udode. Udode. The eyes can only shed tears, not blood. Is you Oh, yes. We chose our fate. Therefore, cowardice has no place. No place at all in our lives. <laughs> Ochozo, mm -hmm. let me tell you something. Hmm? I'd rather have all the riches in this world than end up with the households of unfed mouths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Little Angel, how are you? Uh, sir, why did you just call me? I just called you my little angel because that's what you are. My smart little angel. Mm. <laughs> if only any of those words were true. Frida. I am a man of my words. Anyhow, that's by the way. I'm in a very bad mood right now. I wish you could come over. Well, I can do anything to make you happy. As long as you stop treating me like a child. See, this is why I like you. My little angel. Always ready to fight. Well, only when I have to. Well, my little angel, I did not hear you say yes to my little requests. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. You know what, my little angel? I will send someone over to pick you up. Okay. Very well then. See you soon. <clears throat> what is it? Nothing. But you look worried. Why don't you look for something to do instead of what to say? Chinekeme, I am actually worried because I'm not a virgin. So I'm here because 
You are one of my husband's best friends. I would have equally gone to see Chief Ikemba, but I heard a sad incident that happened to him. Yeah. But the story you just told me now is equally sad. <laughs> I know your husband to be a very hard-working young man. But for you to now tell me that he maltreats you, that's shocking. Chief, if this thing has not gone out of hand, I won't be here. I'm telling you that my husband is now like a total stranger to me. Okay, I'll, I'll speak to him. Okay? But it's shocking. You're such a beautiful young lady. I can't imagine him. I'll have a word with him. I'm, I'm sure everything will be all right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Please, I'm counting on you. I don't think my pastor's visit has any impression on him. That's also strange because I know your husband to be a God-fearing person. Hmm? It's all right. Hello. Hello. I hope I did not stay out too late. No, 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 no. Um, Meg here has been keeping me company. Oh, sorry, um, this is Meg, my friend's uh, wife. Meg, this is Nicole, the light of my life. Hi. How are you? Um, okay, so I'll be upstairs. Okay then. She'll be careful. Nah, I will. Um, what drink do I have for you? Oh, like I said before, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Hey, hey I, she, she's okay. She's cool. Oh, no, no, not at all. I, I think I should be on my way. Okay. I'm really very sorry for what happened to your friend. Sad. Honestly, terrible. Tell me, was he possessed by an evil spirit or his family cursed? I, sir, honestly speaking, I, I don't know. I, I still find it hard and sad to believe. Oh, it's really sad. And he was a talented young man. I'm a businessman. I love to invest in talent. I wanted to invest so much in him. My friends uh, was always, you know, fond and brag about the things we were doing for him. Ah, uh, that's nothing. Believe me, I'm willing to do more for you, if only you will behave yourself. Sir, I will do whatever you ask me, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, I will, I will do it, sir. Are you very sure you do? 100% sure, sir. Ah. <laughs> Cut out the formalities. I like you a lot. Thank you very much, sir. Call me Richie. I... Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Richie. Thank you, Richie. Hey, it's okay. Tell me, do you find a man loving another man wrong? I, so I, I, I think uh, it all depends on the kind of love we, we are talking about here. Love is love. Sex is sex. Gay, straight, whatever. The whole essence of sex is to find it enjoying, fulfilling and satisfying. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think uh, I, you see, I, oh. let me tell you this, I'm a very wild and adventurous person, I don't know about you, are you, are you also wild and adventurous? I, I, I am a bit shut, shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> Come, Efrega. This is Alon. What are you doing with it? I I want to use it and wash wash off something. Hey, <laughs> wash what? You won't go wash Congo meat. Everybody, please mind your business. Hey, hey.
So babes, is Azu in two women? I don't know. Honestly, come to think of it, what exactly do I know about him? You can't be serious. You mean you don't know the man you left your husband for? What are you talking about? Look, fine, I used to know him back in the days, but then he was a nobody. You know, I've not even had time to, <clears throat> like, try to know who he is. I've just been so overwhelmed and dazzled by all the wealth, the goodwill, the care, the... Oh, it's just... It's really overwhelming. In that case, you do not know him at all. Then babes, it's high time you grab all you can. The money, the gifts, anything you can lay your hands on as fast as you can. Fine, I know that I might not know him as much as I should know him. But I know that I know myself. And the problem is that I I think I'm I'm falling in love with him and you know me, I, I can be very jealous. So I, I, I don't know, like Love is foolishness. Not at this age and time. I know, but I can't help it. Anyway, it's your game. So you can play it whichever way suits you. And however me, I'm only here to try and get a loan to buy a chocolate of containers. <laughs> Gozi, you will not change. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. You know I'll do anything for you. I'll talk to you on your behalf. Angie, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chelsea, let me check for the okay. food. Then give you meat. The talks say it's too big. I can help you chop small now. Do you know you're very charming and tantalizing? Tanta what? Tantalizing. <laughs> and not just that, you are amazing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and you, you are a wonderful person. Oh, thank you. Now tell me, Frida, how old are you? Mm. Well, I guess considering how nice you've been to me, one would expect that I answer all your questions without hesitation. Oh, I feel honored. Right? Oh, yeah. But the thing is, I always get very shy when I'm asked to tell my true age. Because some people have come to believe that I am too smart for my age. Oh, and I think I buy into that school of thought as well. Yeah? Because you are indeed very intelligent and yeah. extremely smart. <laughs> but still, you. that does not answer my question. How old are you? Hmm. Well, I am 18 years of age, but I have got an ambition as tall as a mountain, hook, line, and sinker. I'm actually 21 years of age, but then, can <laughs> I sweet past truth? And what's your ambition? <sighs> well, I am... Um, I wish to become a lawyer, but my parents are too poor. But it's okay. I'll achieve my dreams. Anyhow, by all means necessary. Mm, I like that. I like that. But let me quickly remind you of something. Yeah? The world is a mean and wicked world. Okay? It is a battlefield out there that sometimes, or most times, you have to work extra hard to make it. I will. I lost my family one night. Sad as it may be, life must go on. Because a man must be a man. What do you mean, 
You lost all your family in one night. You see, Frida, sometimes in a bid to conquer the world, we end up not thinking about what to do with our conquest. Because man is selfish and greedy. Gunman came to my house one night. Killed my wife, oh my, God. my two daughters, what? and my servants. Oh my God. My God. I am so sorry. And look at you, you're all so composed. Yes, I am. Because it's a path I've chosen. I can't go back on now. Go on, finish your food. I am so sorry. And to think I, I let you take me out on a shopping spree. I'm very sorry. Frida, I had no stop. idea. Come on, you make me happy. So don't turn this happy mood into sadness. All right, don't. Go wipe your tears. Go on, wipe your tears. I'm fine. I've moved on. I finish your food. Is that the reason why you have gone this far? Your soul you have sold for riches untold. Your soul you have sold for riches untold. Just wife, right? Yes, I am. You must be Mark. Yeah. Anyway, I. Sorry, I. I I'm sorry I kept you with you. It's okay. Uh, the truth is, I. What I'm about to tell you right now, whether you have informed your husband or not, I, I, I don't care. Come off it, Mark. You told me you have a certain information for me. I couldn't possibly tell anybody. Besides, I don't know what you have to say. Uh, Madam, what I want to say right now might put me into serious trouble. Possible death. Anyway, I am prepared. Please, don't tell me that my husband has done something wrong. Madam, far from it. See, I have a new wardrobe, a new car, and a house, which, regrettable, I never live in, and two million to take care of myself. 
All these things were given to me by your husband because you want to sleep with me. <laughs> wait, wait. Mark, right? Yeah. You see, my husband Richard is a very generous man. I'm not doubting that he can even do more for you. But him trying to sleep with you, like seriously? Are you high? I mean, are, are, are you all right? Okay, but I, I don't even know why I'm risking my neck telling you all this. Sorry, I, I, I raised my voice. You see, assuming you do not know already, I'm putting it straight to you that your husband is a homosexual. A homo what? He's gay. And that is not the, re the reason why I seek to speak with you. You see, my friend, who introduced me to your husband, whom your husband equally bought a car for, Died mysteriously. Yes. I'm surprised that a man you have lived with for so many years, you don't even know him. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Expecting that. Well, Frida, tell me, what do you feel about me? I, I look upon you as my big uncle. I am proud of you, and I appreciate all the good things you've done for me. The clothes, <laughs> the money, <laughs> and all the gifts. Oh, I'm listening. <laughs> okay, I equally respect you a lot. And I really like you. I see. Well, I like you as well. That's why I've always, uh, seen and looked up to you as good company especially one that makes me laugh when i'm tensed and very stressed hmm. okay and now what is your impression of me now it's my impression of you i just say i just uh, realized you're not just my little angel, but you're also very, very courageous, and that gives me a lot of strength. <laughs> Thank you. I am happy mm. that you're happy. I see. <laughs> mm. Whoa. What did you do that for? I'm sorry. You see, the mere thought of the fact that you're still a virgin excites me. Excuse me. Where are you going to? I'm going home. I don't like the word excitement. It makes me feel as if something else is about to happen. And the thing that I'm saving my virginity for whoever will be my husband. I'll be, I'll be leaving. Don't you, don't you beg me to stay? Okay, I'm going.
I'm going home. You don't want to stop me. I'm not joking, or I'm I'm going. Okay, you see. I'm not joking. Should I go? Should I go? I need you now. I'm opening. Meg, Meg, I am waiting. Meg, you called me. You said you wanted to talk to me urgently. Talk to me. What is it? For God's sakes, Meg, what is it? Look, I am your sister. You can talk to me, okay? Meg, talk to me. What is it, Meg? You're getting me scared. I... I discovered... Oh, God! I cannot say it. I cannot talk about it. I cannot say it. I cannot say it with my mom. Meg, is it about Richard? Oh, yeah, right. I understand. I'm sure when you come down, you will talk to me, okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Meg. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down, Sister Meg. We have to calm down. You see, Whatever be the problem, our good Lord will soon take absolute control. You see, in Matthew chapter 21 verse 22, the Bible says, Whatever you ask in prayer, believing, you shall get. You see, all you need to do is pray and believe. Because I know our good Lord will not turn his back on those who trust and believe in him. Master. Master, I'm sorry. I thought I could talk to you about this, but Master, I can't. I it's can't. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You see, if perhaps what your husband did is so grievous that you don't want to talk about it, then take it to God in prayers. Yes, I know the good Lord I serve, and I know He will heed to your prayers. But Sister Meg, remember that it is always necessary to confess. Yes. Now give me your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your word saying in Psalm 37 verse 5. Commit thy ways into the hands of the Lord. Trust in him and he shall bring it to pass. Father, therefore, I commit your daughter into your elbow care. I pray and trust in you that very soon you shall bless her again for the fruit of the womb. For in Jesus' wonderful name, I pray. Amen. And amen. So I hope you're not going to do the same thing your friend did. How do you mean? Well, you told me that her um, uh, husband beat her up out of the house. That's quite shameful. I, I hope you're not going to treat me like that. How would you even... How would you think of something like that? As though I love you. And there is no way I can even think of cheating on you. Look, I just expressed myself. I wasn't accusing you of anything. Fine. I mean, what 
what happened to my friend was very unfortunate. But I think her husband just overreacted. I mean, he was very harsh on her, considering the fact that that girl has been the one catering for the entire family all these years. See, the problem is I don't care what happens with her family. I just don't want her around you. I don't want her to influence my wife negatively. Jeez, no. There's no way I'm going to abandon my friend at this point. She is still my friend. You know, you don't get it. I thought all you would say is okay and you'd adhere to my instructions. I don't want her around you and that's it. Don't you get it? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now eat. I just lost my appetite. Uh -huh. What's wrong? Where are you? You can't talk. Okay, okay, just uh, stay there, stay there. Hmm, okay. This is shocking and amazing. <laughs> I, I, I can't come to terms with what you just told me. That your husband is a homosexual? And he's into occultism and, and rituals. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm so confused and scared. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, you know what? Hmm? Let's not jump into conclusions. Let's try and get more proof. Besides, this might just be a ploy by some people who are trying to uh, break your marriage and then mess up his image. I don't need further proof. I just had to put one or two together and the jigsaw puzzle started falling in place. Talk to me. Although I don't know the other guy, Mark said died mysteriously. But I can easily recall the incident that led to my sister's son's death. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, even at that, that's not enough proof. We need to gather enough proof before we conclude. <laughs> hey, come, 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 come. Take care, take care. Take care. Hey, hey, hey. It's all right. It's all right. Shh, shh. I'm here now. I'm here now. Um, who's at home with you? He normally goes out with his bodyguards. The gate man is at his post. Mm -hmm. So you're all alone. Yeah. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. Shh. You know what you need now. You need to calm down. You need something to make you calm down. Do you drink? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot you were born again, Christian. That's good. But the truth be told, right now, a little whiskey won't be a bad idea. Huh? Hmm? Trust me. Hmm? I'm back. One minute. Please don't go. Stay with me, please. I don't need to drink. I just need somebody to love me. Please. Wait. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. Yeah? Yes.
not kill me. I, I forgot that she's one of us. I'm sorry. I will wash you. This is not all about sex to you. I mean, for all I know, this whole thing could be over the moment I give in. No! So that, who is saying that? Who is saying that? No, that's not true. That is not true. So that, I love you. Okay? I've always loved you. 
so that I lost my entire family. I lost my entire family. You're the only family I have now. Please, let me do it. Please. Let me do it. Yes. What is it? Please. Take a look at this. Sudi, look at this. This is one million dollars. One million US dollars. It's all yours. You and I will just leave this country, go anywhere in the world, America, anywhere in Europe or Asia, and have fun. Okay, just you and I. I've many more where this came from. All I just need is let me love you, let me do it. Let me do it, please. Please. Will I become your wife? My wife? What are you talking about? I'll marry you. You will be my wife. Okay, you will. Okay, you certainly will be my wife. Right. Just that. I'm scared. I'm a little bit scared. I hope I get out there. Anywhere in Europe or America or even Asia, you will abandon me and settle with a white man. But just promise me you won't do it. I will. You. Oh God. I hope he does not discover I am not a virgin. Why did you lie to me? What do you mean? I lied to you. I don't, I don't understand. Frida, why did you lie to me? What are you talking about? Hey! What's wrong? No! 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 Who are you talking to? No, please don't kill me. What? Don't kill me, please! Don't! I have given you everything you required of me, yes!
I am pregnant. Six months old pregnant. You should give me joy because that is what I have always asked for. But I am sad. I am rich. Very, very rich. With half a billion naira stuck in the bank. Yet, I am sad. I don't know if I will give birth to a monster. My little daughter keeps appearing in my dreams. I am so confused and scared. I feel like committing suicide. But then, would that not make me worse a monster? than the man I called husband. What do I do? Sold for riches and 